So, Ronnie, tell me how you discovered bodybuilding for yourself. Oh, uh, see, man, I, I remember when I was in powerlifting, I used to see body, bodybuilding guys, and I'm like, man, that's, I don't think I could ever do anything like that because, you know, for the most part, I didn't really like the way the guys looked and stuff and <laughs> didn't think I could get to that level either. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I ain't going to even try to do nothing like that. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I've always worked out, you know, even when I was like, I started when I was like 12, 13 years old. So it was always a hobby of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, working out came real easy. And I kind of like fell in love with it when I got to uh, college and started, you know, powerlifting and stuff. So I was always wanting to work out, even, you know, when I was going to college. And they didn't really train that much at my college. For the most part, the football team, they didn't have like, you know, this training uh, regimen where they, all the guys worked out. It was like volunteer. If you wanted to work out, you could, but you had to go like at five in the morning. And the gym was open from like five to six, something like that. And that was the only time you could work out, you know. <coughs> Otherwise, if you, if you didn't work out at that time, then you, you didn't get no workout in at all. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, I would, I would get up five o'clock go and get a little workout in. I do that for like two or three times a week because, you know, that's the most I could do, you know, with, you know, all the homework and all that kind of stuff that I had going on in school and football and all that. So yeah. I only worked out like three, three days a week when I was in uh, college. But after college, uh, you know, I was able to work out a little bit more. Uh, I'd go at least about five days a week, at least four, four to five days a week for the most part. So I, I worked out pretty regularly uh, after college, you know, when I was with, working with Domino's and all that kind of stuff. And once I got on the police department, I was still able to, you know, go to the station and work out over there because they had a gym at the station. And uh, actually, that's, that's how I ended up uh, at Metroflex because uh, uh, after I graduated from the academy and they cut you loose on the street, one of the guys saw me on one of the calls, like, man, you pretty big guy, where you work out at? Oh, I told him, man, I work out at the station <laughs> where it's free. <laughs> He's like, man, ain't no waste up there. I got this gym I work out at. Uh, they got a whole lot of ways in there. I mean, they probably got enough for you over there anyway. I'm like, no, nah, not really, but you know, it's free and I ain't got to pay nothing. So you ought to come over to Metroflex, the gym I work out at. I'm like, okay. So I go with Metroflex and uh, Brian is there. First day I, I get there and he's like, man, you're a pretty big guy. You you compete? I'm like, no, man, I don't, I don't compete. I just work at the police department. And, you know, working out kind of like a hobby for me. I've been doing it all my life. You know, I used to do powerlifting when I was in high school and stuff, but uh, never wanted to be a bodybuilder and like that because, you know, like I said, I didn't think I'd cheat that level and I didn't really too much care about, you know, the mm -hmm. diet and all the kind mm -hmm. of stuff I heard that they do. That they do. Mm -hmm. And then uh, me, you know, the police department, I heard they had to take steroids and all that kind of stuff. And I definitely can't do that working, you know, full-time police department. He's like, no, you want to do all that? And I'm like, no, nah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, I think, like, I, I went in there, like, three, four times in a row. And every time I'd go in there, he I, I was with I was with the guy who brought me. So, you know, I was working out with him. And he kind of, like, let me work out, you know, as, as, as a guest and stuff. Brian finally said, you know, I tell you what, <laughs> he said, I said, I give you a free membership to the gym if you compete in this show coming up, you know, uh, I think it's like three, four months away or something like that. I'm like, you going to give me a free one? <laughs> mm. I'm like, uh, yeah, I probably good for a free membership. <laughs> He's like, I teach you how to pose, I, I teach you how to diet, I teach you everything you need, you need to know. I'm like, okay, well, if you're going to teach me how to do all this and you're going to give me a free membership, uh, yeah, I, I, I can compete. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Brian uh, took, kind of like took me on his wing. We would go to this guy's house like two, three times a week where he had this uh, recording uh, studio set up. But the only thing about it was it was like a little bit of small sweat box. <laughs> no AC or nothing. We'd be back there, you know, posing. He had his camera set up. He would be recording everything we were doing. And uh, we, we, like I said, we'd, we'd do that for like two or three times a week. And, you know, Brian taught me all the poses and stuff. And then uh, he would go over, you know, like diet and stuff and tell me what I need to eat. And, you know, 
He showed me uh, different types of workouts because, like I said, uh, I, I, when I came along, you know, we power lifted, so we we didn't do a lot of sets and we didn't do a lot of a whole lot of reps and stuff like that. Brian showed me how to do a whole bunch of sets and a whole a whole lot of reps because when I all our max reps in mm -hmm. uh, power lift probably was like four or five. You know, we mm -hmm. didn't go over <laughs> we didn't go over four or five reps, you know, for what we was doing, because we was trying to just, you know, get stronger. And mm -hmm. and that's how we did it, you know. Uh, but Brian showed me how to do uh, multiple exercises, you know, multiple sets, multiple, a whole lot of reps and stuff. And so it was a different, different type of training from what I was used to. But, you know, I caught on real quick. And uh, my first show that Brian took me to was called Mr. Texas. Wow. And uh, it's actually that trophy right there. Wow. Uh, I went in, won first and overall, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I thought we be pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second show I went to, that trophy sitting right next to that one, I won first and overall in that one too. So wow. like the first four or five shows I went to, I got uh, first and overall, and overall in all of them, you know, and I'm like, okay. So that same year, I went to the Nationals because I qualified. I, you know, I, I think at the qualif at the qualifying show, you know, it was a little bit tougher than you know just regular local shows and stuff. Uh, I ended up getting like second, but you know, first and second qualify you for nationals. So I went mm -hmm. to nationals my first year and got third. So. You know, for my first year in the sport, you know, going all the way to nationals, like being like third in the country in, my, in the heavyweight class, mm -hmm. third in the world almost in the heavyweight class. So I did pretty good my first year in the sport. So my second year in the sport, I uh, went back to nationals, and uh, it, it was a little bit tougher this year because actually the first year uh, when I went to uh, nationals, they drug tested everybody. Everybody in the show got uh, drug tested, you know, I, I think that kind of like helped me out because I noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of guys competing that year. It's probably in my class that year, it's probably like 20 guys, 15, 20 guys in the heavyweight class because they were drug testing and everything. Because you you were drug free, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and I was, yeah, of course, you know, I worked police for <laughs> had right. to be. So my second year, uh, I went back to the Nationals, but this year they didn't drug test. So it was a whole lot more guys. It was like 40 some guys, <laughs> like double <laughs> what was in there the year before. But the only thing about it was they had this, this show called Mr. Universe. Uh, they called it the World, it was Mr. Universe. It was World Championships and Mr. Universe, same thing, same show pretty much. Uh, they called it World Championships because everybody from all over the world would, would compete in this one show. The only thing about it was you had to be drug tested to go. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, the first place guy was the guy who got selected. only thing about it was <laughs> the first place guy uh, couldn't pass the drug test. So uh, the second place guy couldn't pass the drug test. <laughs> <laughs> the third place guy couldn't pass the drug test. So I was four, so I went over and I took the test. And uh, I think, you know, when I went over there and took that test, I don't think nobody else from my class showed up. <laughs> so I think I was the only one that showed up from the heavyweight class out of 40-some guys. I went over and took the test. I passed it and uh, <clears throat> got selected to the, uh, the uh, what they call it, universe, universe team. Mm -hmm. And we went to the universe, uh, like, I think it was like a month later, uh, so mm -hmm. September, October. So I had to, you know, I had never been out of the country or nothing, so I had to get a passport and all this kind of stuff. Actually, I had to get, get it rushed and sent back to me, because back in those day, days, you had to go to Houston to get it, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I put a rush on my, uh, I did next day air and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got my passport in like two weeks. Uh, normally, it's like a two-month process, but uh, like I said, I did the rush thing. Got my passport in time to go to, that year was in Poland. Uh, like, I think it was Kat Katowice, Poland. Mm -hmm. And they took uh, one guy f from every class. So it was like one heavyweight, one light heavyweight, one middle, one uh, lightweight. 
it's like five of us, I think, all together who went to uh, Poland on the, uni on the universe team to uh, mm -hmm. compete in the universe that year. And if you won your class, you turned pro automatically. And not only did you turn pro, you uh, qualified out five for Mr. Olympia. And, you know, so uh, I went over, of course, I won my class, turned pro. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is just my second year in the sport. Uh, I think me and the uh, lightweight guy turned pro. So we kind of like qualified for the Olympia. And this was, my first year in the sport was 90. Uh, 91 is when I won the universe. So 92 is uh, when I uh, did my first pro show, you know, from winning the universe, uh, I turned pro. Mm -hmm. And I went to like Chicago pro show. I ended up in like, I don't know, I think I got 11th, 12th, somewhere in there. Then I went to uh, the Night of Champions, which was in New York that year, and I ended up in like 14, 15, <laughs> somewhere in there. And uh, since I was qualified for the Olympia, I went to the Mr. Olympia, and it was in, uh, what was it, Helsinki uh, that year, and uh, Helsinki, Finland. Uh, Dorian Yates won that one, and uh, I don't even, I, well, I, I had a lot of fun, but uh, I didn't even get a call out, you know. <laughs> so that's automatically like dead last. <laughs> right, right. When you don't get a call out, you know, you don't get compared to nobody. They don't even place you. So you're like last place. So, But I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed myself. And, you know, the guy said, yeah, man, you look pretty good. You, you could have placed somewhere in his show. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, it, it, you know, I had fun. I enjoyed myself. And so in 92, when I went to my first Olympia, I, I, I got like dead last. But, you know, back, back, in, back in those days, you know, when I was competing and stuff, I didn't really take bodybuilding as serious as uh, I didn't think I could be like with the top guys anyway. Mm -hmm. So Brian gave me a free membership to the gym and I had a full time job at the police department. So. I, I just, I did, you know, it was my hobby. You know, I was doing what I, what I truly love to do, working mm -hmm. out and stuff. And so I really didn't too much care about where I placed and stuff like that because I was having fun. I had a free membership to the gym. You know, I made good money working for the police department because uh, we had like part-time jobs. You know, I, I worked at Denny's <laughs> making extra money. I worked for, <laughs> at this uh, boot store, Western Warehouse, making <laughs> extra money there. And then I worked for the apartment complex, making, uh, actually, I just got free rent. I ain't had paid no rent or nothing. So okay. uh, I was doing pretty good. So, you know, bodybuilding was just like, like, like something that I uh, just had fun with and just like a hobby. Because in uh, 1993, uh, when I competed, uh, I think I, the highest I placed in my second year was like six or seven, somewhere in there, mm -hmm. you know. And that's, that's not high enough to qualify for the Olympia. You had to place in the top three mm -hmm. in, in the regular pro show. So I didn't even qualify for the Olympia in 93. So 94 came around. And uh, I, I did pretty good in 94. You know, I didn't have any sponsors or nothing like that. You know, so I, like, I get, you know, worked for the police department. Like I said, I, I was doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. 94, I qualified for the Olympia by placing third in a show in Paris. I placed third in a show in Germany, so I went to the Olympia in 94 and placed, uh, I got called out. <laughs> 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 I placed down at the bottom, you know, like 15, 16, somewhere in there. But uh, at least they called me out and compared me to the other guys. Mm -hmm. and it, it, was a, it was a little bit better than the, you know, the last time I showed up where they didn't call me out and compare me to nobody. So 1995 rolls around and uh, I finally was able to, uh, I remember my first show I went to was the show in Houston and I got like six or seven. I'm like, man, I'm so tired of, <laughs> and, you know, coming to the U.S. and and not placing good in hard right. none of the shows. So every time I would go to the show in the U.S., I never placed real good. You know, they, they wouldn't even let me into the uh, Arnold Classic. I would sign up, you know, the be picked for you know, you, only way you can go to Arnold Classic back then. Well, it's still invitation. you have to be invitation only, yeah. And they wouldn't even let me in the Arnold Classic. Uh, so, but when I went to Canada and competed, you know, I went over there and I won my first uh, pro show, hmm. you know. So, 
I don't seem like the only time I did good was when I went uh, to another country. Because, uh -huh. uh, you know, I qualified for the Olympia again in 95. And uh, I was finally able to get a sponsor. I think I ended up with Metrix, my first sponsor in 95. After about, what, four, about five, six years of competing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, they didn't pay me any money, but they gave me free, you know, supplements and stuff like that. So uh, I went to the Olympia that year, and I think I placed like 11th somewhere in there, 12th somewhere in there. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I'm moving up in places, and I'm, I'm doing a little bit better, you know. I'm winning uh, shows. Uh, so bodybuilding is starting to, you know, look up for me. 96 rolls around, and... Uh, <clears throat> uh, I did a little, I think I did, I, I went, had to go to Canada again <laughs> and qualify. Uh, I won the, I won the Canada show again and qualified me for the Olympia. In 96, I did pretty good in the Olympia. I ended up in like, uh, oh, what was like, seventh, I think, eighth, seventh, seventh place in the Olympia that year. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, that year they, they drug tested too, I remember, and, uh, they, and NASA failed. So he, NASA got second. So everybody behind him moved up. So I think he ended up in like six, you know, from him, you know, getting disqualified. Mm -hmm. so, so things are getting better and better every year. Mm -hmm. uh, 97 rolls around, you know, and uh, I go back to Canada again. <laughs> <laughs> go back to Canada again. I qualify by winning that show because, like I said, you know, every time I do a show like in another country I always did pretty good and I always was able to qualify for the Olympia by mm -hmm. going there and uh, that year at the Olympia uh, I got ninth you know and I remember I can remember like it was yesterday I went to the they finally let me in the Arnold Classic I went to the Arnold Classic and you know the show before the Arnold was the Iron Man, and I ended up in like third, fourth, third place, I think. And, mm -hmm. But the guy who won the show was Lee Priest. I'm like, man, <laughs> uh, how did he beat me? You know, Lee about this tall. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, this is what for me. So I'm at the Arnold Classic, and I, I remember going after pre judge I went back to my room, and I like. My girlfriend at the time was Vicky, a girl named Vicky Gay. She was competing in the show too. And I'm like, Vicky, I think I'm, I'm done with this bodybuilding stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't guys wow. like Lee Priest beat me. I, I don't think this is for me. She's like, boy, shut up. <laughs> you ain't gonna quit. <laughs> and I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, if I do quit, I might lose my free membership in the gym. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I ain't gonna hang around here for a little while long. So <laughs> anyway, uh, Actually, yeah, I think I ended up beating him in that show, and I got like fourth or something. And uh, like I said, I went, uh, you know, I went to Canada and qualified again. You mm -hmm. know, and went to the Olympia and that that ninety seven and got like ninth. But you know, by this time, you know, I had already I was done with being feeling sorry for myself. And I remember they had every year after the Olympia they had the European tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I was always able to go on the European tour. Like I said, in Europe, I always did pretty good for the most part in most of the shows. Mm -hmm. In 97, they had seven shows in 11 days. And man, that was the most rigorous thing I had been through in my whole entire life. I remember the last show, uh, <clears throat> we got, I, I was placing like, Fourth and fifth, you know, in every show because I was I was kind of like burnt out for the most part, you know, from mm -hmm. doing all those shows anyway. I did the Olympia, I did the show before the Olympia, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and in addition to doing those seven shows, I had already done like four or five shows, lead, you know, going into that going into that tour. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm kind of like burnt out, but I remember Kevin was on the tour, and Kevin is winning every show. And I'm like, what the hell is Kevin doing? Kevin LeBron. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what the hell is he doing to win all these shows? So I went to Kevin's room. I'm like, Kevin, what are you doing? Uh, how are you staying so hard, you know, to win all these shows? He's like, you want to know what I'm doing? I'm like, yeah. So he goes over to his coffee maker and pour a little coffee in a cup. Then he goes to the refrigerator. <laughs> 
and pulls out a, a bottle of vodka and uh, he pours that into the cup and he says, uh, drink that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't drink no vodka. I don't want to drink alcohol. <laughs> He's like, well, you asked me what I was doing to win all these shows and this is what I'm doing. I'm drinking coffee and vodka every night. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> so uh, I drank, I drank that coffee and that vodka and, and uh, went to the show the next day and beat Kevin. Wow. Uh-huh, yep. And, uh, you know, like I said, I've been getting like fourth and fifth in every show, and I, got, I finally got a first place, you know, on the tour. And this, this is the last, this was the seventh show, you know. And uh, I beat him, and uh, uh, after that, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if Kevin even beat me anymore after that, because uh, 98, you know, uh, every show I went to that year, I won. Uh, I went to like Canada, Night of Champions, I won. And uh, I remember leading, the, I remember going to the Olympia, they, they said, Dorian ain't competing this year. I saw the Olympia is wide open. And you know, Flex had been getting second, Kevin had been getting second, Sean Ray had been getting second. NASA had been getting second. I'm like, oh, well, I ain't got a, <laughs> I ain't got a prayer. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're like, well, look like Kevin, look like Flex is going to win this year, you know, because he had all the momentum and he had been winning all these shows, stuff too, leading up to it. And he got, like I say, he got second uh, in the Olympia before. And he was the favorite for the most part that year because <clears throat> uh, I remember going into the show, uh, this day they were looking for somebody to guest pose. And Flex charged her like Olympia money uh, to our guest pose at our show, which was like ten thousand dollars or something like that. And she paid it to him because she, you know, she everybody said you know Flex was gonna win. She believed it, and and I remember going into the show and uh, being compared to uh, Flex and Kevin and you know those guys that I had already won. Mm -hmm. And a couple of times they had put me in the middle, and I'm like, oh. I'm doing pretty good here. They put me in the middle, <laughs> comparing me to the big to the, to the big dogs of the sport. And uh, I can remember after pre-judging was over, Joe Wheeler came backstage, and be like, "Man, you look really good. Uh, I want to sign you to a contract." I'm like, "Who? Me? <laughs> you want to sign me?" And uh, he's like, "Yeah, and, you know, I get you all these, get you all this money, guest pose and stuff." I'm like, "Oh, okay, that sound good." <laughs> <laughs> You think I got a chance to win this show? He's like, yeah, yeah, I think you can win this. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I don't think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I, I can remember like it was yesterday when you know when they called that the the final. My my goal was just placing top five. You know, I was like, man, if I can just place the top five in Olympia, you know, it'll be a dream come true for the most part for me. Uh -huh. And I remember. They call, you know, like fifth and sixth, and I'm still standing there, and they call fourth, and I'm like, oh, shucks, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> then they got, they got down to third, and I'm still standing there. I'm like, whoa, I ain't never had this happen before. <laughs> so, and then I, I can remember me and Flex standing there, and they were down to first and second. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was truly blown away. And then Wayne, when he called out second place, he waited for a long time before he said Flex's name, you know, and it just totally caught me off guard and just kind of like blew my mind. And uh, I remember hitting the floor, you know, because I, I, I was like, man, I, I was in shock for the most part. And I couldn't believe they called his name second for second place. And I don't remember anything that happened uh, from the time they called second, you know, I don't remember Fleck getting his medal, getting his <laughs> a trophy, and nothing. The only thing I remember is Vicky coming and picking me up off the floor. That's, that's the only thing I remember. And I don't know how long I laid on that floor, but I laid on that floor a long time because I watched the tape. Fleck came over to me and said something. Chris Camille came over to me and said something. I'm like, what the heck did these guys say to me? Because <laughs> I don't remember nothing. And uh, yeah, I, I ended up in first, and of course, you know, the rest is pretty much history after that. And uh, and I did end up getting that weed contract too. <laughs> <laughs> so vodka and coffee really became a secret weapon. That's, yeah, that's crazy. yeah, for that show, I, that was the only time I did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, but uh, it, it 
it it did uh, put me in real good shape, mm -hmm. and then it brought me from fifth all the way to first place. So, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a that was a that was a good that was a good thing for me uh, to to do that mm -hmm. and uh, get that first place and and after that you know kind of like rewrite my career. <laughs>